I've got a bogey. I've just been trying to... Oh, I'm using my phone camera to... Uh... Let's see if I've got a bugger. I don't think I have, but it feels like there's something in my nose. I don't know. Also, as well, if I have, don't mind that. And I've just had some crab sticks. So I've probably got like bits of red in my teeth. I usually have. Also, my brows. Can you see? Look how crusty they look. All right, two things. I ain't even got a brow pencil. All right, I've run out. So they look very light. Secondly, it looks like I've got glue. Like I've been on the old fucking Pritt stick. I laminated them yesterday like a twat. I've got this like laminating thing. <laughs> Bearing in mind, my brows are tattooed on. All right, it's not even real air. But I thought, fuck it, you know. Playing around with all my shit. And I've just pretty much like glued them. It just, it's really weird. It feels weird. But if I start pulling this glue out, it's gonna pull the little bit of hair that I have got. Can you see? It's well crusted, honestly. So the temptation to try and like, do you know what I mean? Pull them out. But uh, yeah, let me put him. Right, put me some on. Oh, oh, hang on. React, Ella Henderson. Oh, I love it. It's a real, really gets me in me. My summer mood, you know, I love it. So yeah, that is Switch Disco React featuring Ella Henderson. But anyway, how are you? Happy Tuesday. Also, the car went in for the MOT today. All right, and I was on edge all morning, you know, cause I was, do you know what you just think? I just don't need this, you know, I don't need the fucking shit. All right. And yeah, it came back. It just needed a new tire, front driver side. So I was like, get in. I was well chuffed. So yeah, it passed. Um, but I was on edge waiting for the phone call, you know, because one time I had an MOT and it cost me about 700 fucking quid many moons ago, but go get a drink anyway. How are you? I've not really, um, uploaded. Well, I will out. Well, you wears out. Well, I will I? Well, I will I? Well, you have. Um, oh, sorry. Shall I start again? I don't know. I'm trying to say if I can get my pissing words out is, yeah, I've not uploaded as much. I'd say like the past month, like so I usually upload every day, but I just haven't um, been doing that. You know, I've just kind of, I've had a lot going on, you know, I've just, do you know what I mean? Just been doing shit, been doing shit, <laughs> whatever shit is. But yeah, I am back, I'm back on it uh, with my daily uploads as well. So you will see a video from me every day, Unless I literally just cannot get one out that day for whatever reason. But yeah, you'll see one every day. I've just been, yeah, a bit all over the place. Um, but I am back with daily uploads. So, um, but yeah. Do you know you just, life, life just gets in the way, you know. And yeah, I just, I've had, I mean, I still upload regular. Don't get me wrong. It's still, you know, I, I still upload, you know, quite a bit. But I usually upload every day. But then there's been like periods of like, I don't know, four days of not uploading or, you know, but yeah, I'm back with a video every day. So I put out a, um, I'm not going to be an M by the way, so we charity shop, me reusable bag. So yeah, I put out a little like question box on um, Instagram saying what kind of content you want to see, you know, and I've had a lot of responses from that and, you know, just really lovely messages and it's really nice, you know, really nice to read. You know, it's a definite, like, confidence booster, you know, and it, it just, it's nice. So I just want to say thank you, um, yeah, just, you know, for for everything. <laughs> so thank you for everything, you know. I, I really appreciate um, the comments and the messages that I've had as well. And, you know, it's just nice, you know, just nice messages. Nice to read, you know, and I appreciate it. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you for all the, you know, love and support you know, on my channel and stuff. So also as well, I keep, look at me hair. Look, this is my hair. This is the extension. They're hanging on for dear life now. A couple have come out. So they are looking a little bit thinner, but yeah, they're hanging on now for dear life. And you know, I've got a few curls at the back if I want to lay in the bath. Tie me extensions right up. Cause it's fucking hassle. Washing and drying extensions, it really is. But my hair, cause it's so short, look, it goes all curly at the back. So I've got, yeah, a curly back, a straight front, but they're hanging out. I mean, I don't know if you can see, they've grown out quite a bit. I'm going to show you my greasy mop. But look, if 
fucking hell. If you can see past the dandruff, I feel like I'm in a fucking snow globe. But look, they've grown out quite a bit. So, yeah, some of them have come out now anyway. But oh, fucking hell, I'll sort that out anyway. Right, I'm gonna get on with it now. So, I've been um, to the charity shop and home, not home bargains, bargain buys. I haven't been to either for a really long time. And this might just be the smallest charity shop haul that I've ever done. All right, because there's about five things in here. Okay, because I've had a massive clear out, you know, obviously that means there's room for more. There wasn't actually much in the charity shop, but yeah, it's kind of, I don't want to, because Steve's dead chuffed with the, you know, the wardrobe and the, the lack of clothing. He's like, this is brilliant. And I'm like, if only you knew. To be fair, there weren't a lot going on, so I literally have like a small amount, that's it. So, which is a real fucking surprise when I go down the Chaz off, so. And then I went to Bargain Buys because they're all kind of like in the same area and I haven't been in here for ages. I don't like Bargain Buys because, I do, I do like Bargain Buys, I've someone shopping there, but I don't like it because it's such a small shop. Like it's big, but it's really small. Like the aisles are so small. You literally have to rub up against someone to get by. <laughs> Like, suck it in and you're still like fucking do you know what I mean it's honestly it's so small but I'll show you all the bits that I got from the charity shop anyway I got this <gasps> we're having a complete decor revamp so the garden as well we're getting like we're gonna put some slabs down so there's a lot of mud like where the trampoline's been like the sun hasn't kind of got to it so it's yeah one half's grass and then there's just like this whole area of mud under the trampoline but we're gonna get rid of the trampoline and we're gonna put some slabs down and have like a big like seating area. So yeah, we're having a complete, like the living room's gonna be done as well and we're getting rid of like the ready theme and we're gonna go for, not a red, we haven't got red, but it's like a burgundy and like there's a, you know, red in the rug and like the walls are kind of like an apricot. And if you um, have seen a few clean with me, like you'll see what it looks like. Well, you'll know what it looks like. But yeah, we're gonna go for a complete different color and this, is gonna go so well. So this is by Sass and Bell. So it's got a little like Sass and Bell uh, oh, um, sticker. So yeah, it was a quid and you know, I love photo frames and stuff. So yeah, we're completely changing around the living room. Uh, quid, it's not bad is it? And then I got this herd mentality game. So I thought, you know, grab that and we can all play it. I really like the feel of the box, to be honest. That's what drew me to it. Like, I love getting games anyway. We all play loads of, like, board games and stuff. But this has got something stuck to it. But, um, yeah, it feels really nice. It's like a velvet, like these bits of velvet. And I could just sit here, like, rubbing it. Not in a weird way, but, you know, it just feels nice. But, the, the, yeah, this is herd mentality. So whatever you do, don't stand out, is what it says. Two quid this was. So I opened it up in the shop just to have a look, you know, double check everything was in there. And uh, yeah, so I can't wait to play that. And then I got this top as well. I did really like this top and it's brand new. So it's kind of like a long crop. I really like this. And I think with a nice um, silver necklace that I've got, you know, it's gonna look really good. And it's brand new, like from new look. And I got it for a quid. So this is size 14. But I think I'm gonna get in. All right. It's wide, and I'm wide, so that works. Okay. It's not stretchy, but it's wide. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I got that. I really like that. And then two more things. So I've got some school trousers for Mason. These are in immaculate condition. Got a bit of um, like a bit of fluff from the bag, but they're in great condition, and they're from Tu. And they were literally 50p, so I'm going to get them in the machine. Because you can never have enough school uniform, can you? And then I got this, which was on the 50p rail. And it's very stretchy. Look, I'm going to get in that. I've got some trousers. I'm going to get in that. I'm confident in that. <laughs> I'm going to get in that. But I've got some trousers that this is going to go really nice with. So it's like a pinky colour vest top. And this is from, let's have a look, Sandwick. And a size extra small. All right, don't you fucking say anything because it's stretcher. Look, I'm gonna get in that for 50p on the 50p rail. All right, I've got a really nice pair of trousers that's gonna go with. So that's it from the charity shop, and that is not like me, literally. That's it. 
Honestly, I can't believe it. Bargain buys. It's more like shit, but good shit. Shit that you need, you know, if there ever was such a thing. I got these mini cheddar nibbles. So smoked um, cheddar and smoked paprika. They were a quid. So, just, you know, go in the pack lunches, they will. <gasps> these are really low in calories and they sound really nice. Malaysian curry. So pot noodle. It's not great in other areas, to be fair. But they sound nice, right? And they were two for 150, so I grabbed them. And this was 2 99 all right? And it's Starbucks signature signature chocolate hot chocolate so 42 percent cocoa it says and that was 2.99 it's quite a big jar really I mean, you know size of my head it's quite a big one and uh my lot quite like hot chocolate so if you think you go to starbucks for a hot chocolate obviously the way they make it is so much nicer whenever you go out any drink is so much nicer than what you do at home i think anyway but yeah we like a hot chocolate and it's just nice in the evening. I mean, I wanted to try Orlix, you know, d like to have a nice, um, is it Horlix? Or is, I've seen another one, Malt, Malt Summer? Or is that Horlix? I don't know, but like an evening drink, that's not coffee. You know, that's just gonna kind of like set me up for the night, ready to fall asleep. Do you know what I mean? Nice warm drink. So yeah, I got this Starbucks signature hot chocolate. Although I'm sure I've had a sachet of Starbucks before and it was a bag of wank. You know, it, all the big one being Starbucks, but it tastes like shit, but I couldn't remember. So I thought, fuck it, I'll get that. And then, you know, if it's shit, I'm sure the kids will like it. And then these were 59p. 59p for six mini bags of penguins. Penguins. Peng Apparently I say peng penguin. Oh. I'm paranoid about it now because every time I say it, Steve says it's not penguin. He says that I say it penguin, but that's how you say it. Penguin. Penguin. Yeah, I do say penguin. I say penguin and it's penguin. Penguin. Yeah, I say penguin. Like wings. And then, this sounds really good. So, North African style spicy kebab sauce. Two for a pound from Heinz. This in the burger sauce that looks like this, but just says burger sauce. Small little bottle is unreal. I got it from Heron and it is so nice. The taco one's nice as well because I had that last week. Um, I think I've had that one before as well. But the burger sauce from Heron, well, you'll get it anywhere really, was unreal. It is honestly it's so nice. So I'll be getting that again. But this kebab sauce sounds good, doesn't it? Spicy kebab sauce. And then I got a light off me candles. So the one I've got's got a small head, a small stick, I'm fucking melting off me nail, you know, and I'm lighting it. Oh, because I have all my candles on in the evening. And then for the sweet jar for the kids, so I always stock it up. Uh, these were eight for a quid. Little uh, smarty bags, look. Look at them. Eight for a quid. So. That's not bad, is it? You know? And then these were 20p at the till. This is where I got these. 20p each, so I got three. They are sour spaghetti, like, shoelaces. Like, you know. Them sweets, fizzy ones. So I got them. And then, oh, I got this tandoori uh, seasoning as well, because I got some chicken, which I need to take out the freezer, and then I'm going to do a tandoori chicken for the kids. I'm also going to make a have you seen it's done with like chicken thighs on like a you get like a big stick or whatever like a i don't know you stick all these thighs on but like a kebab like a chicken kebab and then you slice it you know you put all like your peppers in and all like your onions and stuff it's all thighs seasoned but then you slice it you know sounds good doesn't it and then these were two for a pound this drink is amazing so I got four. They are lemon, sparkling lemon drinks. So four for two quid. Honestly, they're so nice. And I do sometimes fancy a drink, you know. Nice uh, cold drink. And then I got three iron brew for a quid because I love iron brew. So yeah, that's everything that I got today anyway. But that's not bad from the Chasm, is it? Like that's probably the smallest haul that I've ever done. And 
I think we're going to play this tonight. So Herd Mentality. Oh, let me see how much that is actually, if I was to buy it online. I was wondering this, because there's loads of like good little board games, you know. So I've got a cupboard downstairs full of all of little, you know, different games and stuff for us all to play. The one that they like doing at the minute is darts. Tyler is so good at darts. Honestly, he, I'm not even joking. All right, we did a bet. I said to him, if you get balls out, I'll give you a quid. And he smashed it, honestly. He is so good. He gets it almost every time. And he likes to challenge himself as well. You know, say pick a number. You know, and he'll go around the board as well. And honestly, he's so good. I didn't realise how good he was. And I'm just like, wow. You know, it never gets the wall or anything. Like, it's spot on. Cute. This is 20 quid. 19.96 on Amazon and the works, 20 quid. Can you believe that? 20 quid. That's crazy. Let's, let me have a look at this as well. Sass and Bell. Because I'm sure Sass and Bell's a brand. Well, it is a brand. You know what I mean. Sass and Bell photo frame. They're about 6 50 that's what I mean. You can't go wrong, can you? I can't believe that's 20 quid. See, I've got a little cupboard downstairs with all the uh, games in and this is the rules and yeah, lovely. all of it. So, oh, I'm chuffed with that, honestly. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go now. So I'm going to go put all my bits away, get these cold so I can have one tonight, actually. But yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Just um, a quick like catch up and you know what I've you know got from the Chazza and bargain buyers today. But yeah, as always, my friends, don't let any dickheads get you down. All right, you are fucking beautiful, unreal, amazing. All right, go smash the week. Hope you're having a nice week. You know whatever you're up to, and I shall see you in tomorrow's video. 